Uh, hello there and uh, welcome to my new video. So with this video, we're going to start uh, SQLite uh, with Android uh, tutorial series and uh, We're going to create a beautiful uh, book uh, Application in which we are going to create a SQLite database uh, with a recycler view as well So uh, you will see how that will look like Okay, so uh, now we're going to start by uh, creating a layouts uh, for our uh, application so first, let's remove this uh, text view from our main activity layout and we're going to add a recycler view here. Okay, so just click OK and uh, Android Studio will automatically add a dependency in our Gradle build file for this recycler view. So let's check it out. As you can see, this line of code is uh, automatically added. So here uh, we have a warning. So we need to click this build project and it will refresh our layout and now we can see our uh, recycler view clearly. Okay, so let's connect those constraints with the parent. Okay, and now uh, we need to add the ID for our recycler view because we're going to use that uh, inside our main activity class. So let's add ID. Uh, we'll just name this uh, recycler view, and uh, now we're going to create. Uh, uh, we're going to add one uh, vector file. So here uh, we're going to select uh, one image uh, from the Android Studio. Let's search for uh, add and we're going to choose this one. So let's change the name of uh, this uh, add icon and let's change the color to white. Okay, just click next and finish. So uh, now we're going to add the floating action button here. Okay, and we're going to select this add icon. Okay, just click okay. And uh, Android Studio will again add a dependency for a material uh, design. As you can see, uh, this uh, is automatically added for us. So uh, here we have uh, another warning uh, just above uh, saying that we have added a vector file inside our application and we need to add this uh, line of code uh, vector support library equals to true inside our Gradle build file. So let's do that. Let's open up uh, and let's remove this warning. Okay, just paste this here and click sync now and this uh, warning should uh, disappear. All right, so here on our floating action button, we need to add one more attribute here and let's set that uh, to true. Okay, now let's connect the right and bottom constraint of our uh, floating action button uh, to a parent. Okay, and uh, those two uh, constraints uh, should have margin of uh, 40. Uh, so let's check it out. Let's run our application and see how will that look. Okay, I think we should decrease uh, that value a little bit. So let's set to uh, 28 maybe, right and bottom. And uh, let's run our application now. And now it looks better. So uh, ne next uh, we need to change this uh, action bar title. So inside Android manifest file, we need to add the attribute label and let's set that to a book library. So when we run our application, uh, our activity will have a book library title. Okay. So that's good. Uh, next, uh, we're going to start by uh, creating a new Java class and this Java class will represent uh, our uh, SQLite database uh, scheme. And here we're going to uh, create uh, all the methods for um, deleting, adding uh, and uh, updating our database. So this uh, class will extend the SQLite open helper class and we need to implement uh, two methods on create and uh, on upgrade. Okay, so next let's create a constructor for this uh, class as well. Alright, so as you can see our constructor has uh, many of uh, uh, parameters here, uh, but we're going to remove all of them and we're going to keep just this uh, context. And uh, from the super we're going to add the name of our table and the version. So let's declare those uh, variables here. 
So the first, uh, let's add a context. Uh, next, we're going to add a public static uh, final string. So this is uh, basically a constant. And let's uh, name this database name. As you can see, um, it's all uppercase letters. Okay, our database should be called book library .db. DB is extension for a database. Uh, next, we need to add the database version. And this type, uh, this time it will be integer type. Uh, we will say this uh, one. Uh, next is the table name. Our table should be named uh, something like my library, like this. Okay, so next uh, we're going to add the columns for our uh, for our database table. So we're going to have uh, four different columns. The first one will be ID. Uh, next one will be title, uh, next one author, and the last one will be number of pages for our book, of course. So the column ID uh, will be uh, will be uh, auto increment, you will see later. But for now, let's uh, stay that way. So let's copy this database name uh, variable and let's paste this inside our super method and database version here as well. So we can uh, change those uh, access modifiers from public to private, but we are going to do that later. So now inside onCreate method here, um, we're going to start uh, writing some code. First, uh, we're going to create a SQL query. But uh, before we create uh, one SQL query, I want to show you uh, I want to show you the SQL uh, schema for our table. So this is the SQL statement, SQL statement for our uh, table. And uh, basically, we have create table uh, keyword, then the name of our uh, table, which is my library. Then uh, we have uh, inside the brackets, we are declaring uh, columns for our table. The first one is uh, ID, uh, the type integer, then primary key, then auto increment. So our ID will auto increment uh, every time we insert a new data inside our uh, table. Uh, so after auto increment, we have a comma and then space. And then uh, book title, this is the second column, uh, text type, and we have a column again, then we have a comma again, uh, then we have a book author, uh, text type, uh, then a comma again, then uh, book pages, and uh, type of integer this time. So after that, we're closing the, the brackets, and we have a semicolon at the end. So it's uh, very important to write this uh, SQL uh, statement properly. You need to use a space uh, every time, so you need to remember that. And now we're going to uh, go to Android Studio and uh, create one. Okay, so here uh, we're going to create a string uh, uh, type uh, named query. And here we're going to start by creating our SQL statement. So first, as you saw, we need to uh, set create table, then space, then uh, table name, then uh, Again, con uh, we need to use a concatenation because this is Java. It's kind of boring, but uh, you, you need to write that. So uh, we're opening brackets, but before brackets, we uh, set a space, then uh, column ID, then uh, integer, primary key, auto increment, then a comma, then space, plus, uh, next one is uh, title, column title, then plus, then space, text, then comma, and then uh, space, then plus. Next one is uh, column author, then plus, space, text, comma, space. Uh, next uh, is uh, column pages, space, integer, space. And here we're going to close our uh, query. So close the brackets and semicolon. Okay, so let's check it out uh, once again. If our uh, query is uh, properly formatted. So let's uh, execute uh, this query by uh, setting execute uh, SQL method. So as you can see now our uh, uh, text has changed the color a little bit. So uh, we need to set this space be uh, just before the integer. We forgot to do that. So it is very important to write this query uh, properly. Otherwise you might get a runtime error. Okay. So in our on upgrade method, we're going to uh, create another query. So let's use uh, db dot execute SQL, and uh, this time uh, SQL query will be simple as uh, drop table if exists and space then plus table name. And uh, after that, we're going to call our on create method. So whenever we upgrade the table, we need to call uh, on create method as well. So let's change those uh, mod uh, access modifiers to. Uh, private. Okay. So now uh, we have uh, created our uh, my database uh, helper class. Okay. And uh, next uh, we can uh, set the ID for our floating button here, and let's uh, 
create a recycler view object here and floating action button. So let's find the ID of those two elements inside onCreate method. Okay. And let's add a set uh, onClick listener for our uh, floating button. And this uh, onClick listener will lead us to uh, next activity. So let's create one. So activity, empty activity. And this one will be named uh, add activity. So in this activity, uh, we're going to add our items inside the database and our table, of course. Okay, so here let's uh, call the intent. So new intent, pass main activity dot this and uh, add activity dot class. And let's start this activity. And let's run our uh, emulator to see uh, if that works fine. So click this plus. And there we go. It works uh, fine for now. Alright, so let's uh, open up Android manifest file and let's set the parent uh, activity name to main activity and the label to uh, add book. Okay, so now when we run our application uh, and uh, navigate to the second activity, uh, we're going to see this uh, back arrow and of course the title. So we can uh, hit this back button and uh, get back to our main activity. All right, so that works fine as well. Uh, next thing, uh, let's create this uh, second activity, which is uh, add activity. So we need uh, three edit text for uh, title, author and uh, pages. Okay, let's connect the constraint for this uh, first one, top, left and right. And uh, let's set the top margin to 150 and let's do the same for our other two uh, edit text. Let's connect the constraints. So top constraint should be around 16 for those uh, last two uh, edit text. And let's uh, add the IDs for those uh, three uh, elements. The first one will be uh, named the title input. So we're going to remove this text attribute and uh, add the hint attribute, which, which will say uh, book title. Okay, for the second edit text, uh, we're going to remove this text and uh, add the hint with a book author and the ID to author input. And the uh, last one uh, will be named the pages or number of pages. Okay, and uh, ID pages input. Okay, so next we need to add one button, of course, and uh, add the padding to this uh, constraint layout. So we can uh, have a little uh, better uh, UI. Okay, so let's add this button. Uh, top margin should be around uh, 40, I think. And let's set uh, this ID to uh, not save, but uh, add button. Okay, so button text should be just simple as add. Let's uh, change the text all caps to false, uh, layout height to 70 dp, and um, layout width to match the parent. Okay. So, um, next thing we're going to set the layout width for our uh, three edit text to match the parent. And let's set those constraints to zero, left and right. Okay, and uh, let's run our application to see how will that look. Okay, let's click this floating button and there you go. So it looks fine. It is just a simple UI, we don't need anything more. Okay. And the third one is a type of number. So uh, I think we should add the text size uh, to this button. Uh, so let's set to 20 dp, uh, sp sorry, maybe. And uh, let's set the style, text style to bold. So let's see how will that look. If it doesn't look that good, I will change that. Okay, and I don't know, I think uh, I should get uh, back to the previous so let's remove this uh, text style and uh, and that's it so uh, that will be all for this uh, video we have uh, created uh, two activities and in the next video we're going to um, add uh, logic and uh, all the functionality for adding uh, our book inside the database and uh, that will be all for this video please uh, like this video if you find it helpful of course and uh, see you in the next one